Hey y'all, it's Brandon. So in the last video, you've seen the things I plan to do to the bus. This video, let's see if we can get it running. I don't quite know why it's not running. Like I said, he told me, no spark, no fuel, no run. All right, so let's uh, see if we can get this thing running. It's got power. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so I'm going to pull this intake off and uh, see if we can squirt some ether or gas down it and see if we can get fired up. All right, we got the intake off. Nice and clean in there. So I don't have any ether, so what I do have is gas. I think that bus has the most annoying buzzer. It's not getting any spark, just like he said. So let's uh, go through. I'm going to, while well, there's still juice in the battery, I'm going to go through and check all the fuses, and make sure there is power to all the fuses. This could be the worst place for a fuse panel I've ever seen in my life. Alright, let's see here. Ignition B. Tell you what, I'll just go through all of them real quick. Turn the key on real quick. Just gonna have to deal with the buzzer, I guess. All the fuses in there. When I turn this on, it's gonna be very annoying. I'm sorry, y'all. So, spare y'all from that crazy loud buzzer. All the fuses checked out. I had a little problem with my with my test light. I got it figured out, so it's working now. Um, but yeah, all those fuses checked out. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my fuel pressure tester. I'm gonna put down here on the injector line and just see if it's got any kind of pressure at all. All right, spin that around here and see. Can you see it? All right, so no fuel pressure. Next thing I'm going to do, I believe I'm going to try jumping relays. I'm going to jump the uh, fuel pump relay. All right, kind of explain what I'm doing here. I'm going to jump the fuel pump relay is what I'm going to do. I don't know if you can see that there, which is going to be 86 and 87, I believe. All right, so I made a little jumper wire here, flattened it out so it wouldn't mess my prongs up. Let me see if I can get that to uh, fire up. All right, so jumping the relay that way, I get juice. All right, to kind of explain what I'm doing here, I got a new coil. So I put the new coil, you can see I put the new coil there, I put all the wires in it, I grounded the coil. Okay, so now you'll see me take a screwdriver and stick in the, the coil wire, and I'm gonna see if I can get spark between the coil wire and the ground of the body. And no, no spark. So 
while I let the battery charge, I'm going to button everything back up underneath the hood. Um, I'm pretty much decided what the problem is at this point, uh, but I got one more test I'm going to do, and that will be the determining factor whether I think it's the ECU that's bad or not. See if I can find the OBD2 port. I assume these are OBD2. There it is, right there. Alright. Unkey on. That stupid buzzer again. Alright. Well, I've never had one take that long. There's a linking error, please try again. Failed to connect. The code reader will not, will not connect to the ECM. So in my opinion, that's strike three. I'm pretty sure that the ECM is probably bad. Tell me what you think. To be 100% clear with you, this little bit of stuff that I did video on was not my diagnostics. I spent about six hours last Saturday going through it, trying to figure out all kinds of stuff. Those three points there are the points that I found that are the most valid for the ECM being bad. Right. So let me know what you think in the comments. You think it's the ECU bad? I'm pretty confident that's what it is. Now, you may, you may know something that I don't, which is very possible. Like I said, I'm just a shade tree mechanic. I'll show you I'm a shade tree mechanic because the bus will not fit in my shop. All right, got the computer out of it. The information here that I need. But look how corroded all this is. I don't know. The top don't look terrible. It's a little dirty. Flip it over. Man, oh man. There's a little bit of corrosion on the inside there. Get this information from over here and I'll uh, plug it in the website and see if I can get me a replacement. I think all I need is the model number, serial number, whatever's on this, and then the VIN number for the van, and I can get one shipped to me. That'll be a uh, direct bolt in and go. Hopefully this is what's bad. things are siliconed in or I sure would like to open it up and see what that looks like on the inside more. Oh, it popped it right there. Come open. There we go. You ready for this? Oof, look at all this corrosion everywhere. 
brushed it on the inside. You can see after you take these bolts out, you might think you can flip the chipboard up, but you can't. If you notice, it's a separate piece, and this whole piece will come off. Ooh. Oh, look at all that. It's all corroded. Well, I believe I found my problem. See all that's got corrosion on it. That stuff will blow away, but I don't know what all these little things here do. But they're all corroded. It's corrosion on this little one here. Well, I believe I found my problem. So, I guess the next thing to do is get the information off of this, the VIN number, and send it to some company that uh, rebuilds ECMs or ECUs, whatever the heck these things are called. Next time you see me, I'll have a new ECM and uh, Maybe we'll get this thing running. Thanks for watching, y'all. I appreciate it. If you don't mind, give me a like, a subscribe, and a share. Please comment. Um, all this will help me. Appreciate your help getting this channel going a little better with this, uh, this bus build. So, thank y'all. I appreciate you. Have a good one.